Hey YouTube, it's Boxy Guy. I'm here at, in Houston, Texas at the NASA uh, Houston Space Center. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was in Huntsville, I, I seen the shuttle over there and remember how Bull Boxy was gonna take off into space. Well look, you didn't know, but Boxy just landed in the other shuttle <laughs> right here in Houston. So there's NASA, this is a 747 with a, with a with a space shuttle on it and so this is pretty cool we well, just got here in uh, Houston Texas and this is the first thing I done which is the uh, NASA so it's pretty cool you can see there's a shuttle independence up there so but it doesn't look too independent when it's got it right on the back of an airplane that doesn't seem independent to, to old boxy so here's a here's a big 747 jet engine. Jeez, look at that thing. That's that's a big that's a big engine right there. And there's like a bunch of them on here. So here's another one on the and and there's a space shuttle way up there. And old Boxy already took the tour of the space shuttle. You could actually go into the space shuttle and into the 747. So and you can see on the side of the of the 747 right there. You I don't know if you could see it, but. They got a list of all the all the different missions that was on when it was carrying different space shuttles and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But it's a big airplane. It's like way bigger than the old Boxy ever rode on. Boxy never flew on a 747. And they're they're pretty big. So I'm gonna come over here and get a get a shot of the of the landing gear because it's it's pretty crazy. It's really big. I mean these tires. If if old Boxy put those on his smart car, it would look pretty silly, huh? Look at that. That's almost as big as, a, as Boxy's whole car. You put four of those and make it like a like a four-wheel drive smart car. Just the, we call it the Boxy Mobile. So, anyways, just wanted to let you guys see this. And like I said, I'm here in Houston, Texas, and hopefully I can get some more videos here in wonderful Houston, uh, uh, in Texas. So, thank you much, and remember to like and subscribe to Boxy Guy. Hey YouTube, it's Boxy Guy again. I don't know if you can see this, but this, I'm still at Houston Space Center, and, and this is a, a Saturn V rocket. It's really big. Look, those tires are almost like up to Boxy's chin, and then there's the, the rocket that goes all the way up to the roof, and it says USA, USA, and that goes all the way down to the other side of the hangar. That is one big rocket. They must have put a lot of people into space with that. I bet they could probably fit like a whole colony of people in there. So, cause it's like a lot of room. Look at that. Like, I could probably fit like my whole neighborhood in there, and then you know you could put like the farm animals in the front, and that'd be pretty good. Cause you could like send it to Mars or whatever, and they could colonize like the whole planet. Start with like one rocket ship full of people. So, and there's the American flag. Cause then it would be like America of Mars or something. So. Anyways, I'll add this to the end of the other video, and I hope you guys enjoy, and remember to like and subscribe to Boxy Guy. Hey, YouTube, it's Boxy Guy again, so I got some additional information. I, I just talked to a gentleman who said that they didn't take, like, lots and lots of people up in this. They just, it was uh, just a couple of folks that went out, a couple of astronauts, and the rest of it, he said, was fuel, so I'm not sure what they did with all that fuel, but maybe they left it on the moon or something, maybe for next trip. But that's crazy. That's a lot of fuel. They must have like storage tanks up there or something. So anyways, I just wanted to correct that for you guys because I didn't want you guys thinking, you know, that they took a bunch of people up there because they, they really didn't. So excuse me, ma'am. And so here's the rest of it. It says United States right there. And so this was all fuel. Wow, that's crazy. They must have like a storage depot or something. So and they could put all the fuel up there. And then if anybody ever gets stuck there, they got enough gas to get home. So. Anyways, thought you guys would enjoy that. Look at those engines. Whoa, I don't know what those are going to blast right into the other one and probably blow that fuel up. Maybe that's like the self-destruct engines right there or something. So, okay. Well, thanks. And remember to like and subscribe to Boxy Guy. Thanks. Goodbye. Hey, YouTube. It's Boxy Guy again. So now I'm inside of the, the Space Center in Houston. And I think I cracked the case. I think I've figured out for all you conspiracy people out there that everybody thought you was crazy. I think you're justified, because look at this. I think I found, this is it. This is the moon landing. 
this is where they did it because this looks just like the pictures I seen in the video the, the pictures in the video that I seen there's a lunar lander look there's earth in the background see see I knew it and look there's some spacemen and there's that flag that was waving in the breeze so uh, I'll, I'll add this to the end of the other video so that's gonna be pretty good oh you know what so somebody told me that I needed to do sideways video, so let me fix that for you guys, and there we go. Now we'll see the real moon landing, and there it is, and so enjoy, and I'll start doing all my videos sideways. So remember to like and subscribe to Boxy Guy.